In this tip, I'm going to show you how to color a big number by whether the change is positive or negative. As an example, I've gone ahead and built out two calculations. One is for the latest year sales, and in this calculation I'm just checking the year of order date against the latest year of the order date. I'm going to multiply that by sales. If I drag that to the text shelf, you'll see I have 733,000 in sales for the latest year. The prior year sales is very similar. So we're looking at the maximum year in the data set minus one. It checks that against the year of the order date and then multiplies it by sales. Let's bring that into the view as well. So now we see we have latest year sales and prior year sales. So the idea here is we want to take the latest year sales number and compare it to the prior year sales and to color it by whether it's positive or negative. To do that, I've gone ahead and created a calculation called year over year increase. In here, I'm checking the latest year sales and comparing it to the prior year sales. Notice these are both aggregated. They're both aggregated because that's the value that I see in my view. I want to take the total of the last year, latest year sales and compare it to the total of the prior year sales. Now, I only have a greater than symbol in here. I don't have an if statement or anything like that. So this is going to result in a Boolean calculation, a true or a false. And you could tell that by the TF indicator for the data type. Let's drag that to the color shelf. And we could see that we have blue for true because the latest year sales is greater than the prior year sales. I'm going to drag the prior year sales off so we just have one big number. So let's go ahead and make that a bit bigger. And if we drag subcategory into the view, we can now see we have some of them are orange and some of them are blue. So now the blue is switched to be the false and the true are orange. So I'm going to edit my colors. I'm going to make the falses red. That means that is a decrease year over year. And I'm going to go ahead and make the trues, oh, I don't know, it doesn't really matter what color. Let's maybe choose this turquoise color. So now we can see when we have a positive and a negative change. So that's one way to do it. Another way would be to create a calculation that shows underneath of the big number what the actual change was. So I'm going to create a new sheet and I'm going to drag last year's sales onto the view again. This time I'm going to make it a nice big number. So let's say 36, 28, whatever. Okay, and underneath of that I want it to say something like, you know, plus 20% over prior year or something like that but I want it to be the turquoise color if it's greater than zero, and I want it to be the red color if it's less than the prior year. So I'm gonna create a new calculated field. I'm gonna call this uh, change greater than zero. So here I'm gonna say if my uh, year over year increase, then, so this is just saying if it's a year over year increase, then I want to look at the sum of my latest year sales minus the sum of my prior year sales. I'm going to take that whole bit, wrap it in brackets, and then divide by the sum of my prior year sales. So this is going to give me a percent change. So let me just move this in a bit so you can see the calculation a bit better. Otherwise, uh, we don't want anything, so I'm just going to choose end and let's hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and format that view. I'm going to change it to a percentage to one decimal and then I'm going to change it to custom number format and what we see in here now is plus or sorry 0.0 percent so I'm going to have a plus symbol if it's greater than zero then I'm going to put a semicolon and type in minus 0.0 percent so that's going to give me a negative sign if it's less than zero. I'm going to put another semicolon. I'm just going to put a dash in there. So that means that if it's zero, it's going to just return. Let's put two dashes in there. All right, so let's go ahead and drag that to the text shelf as well. And we can see it says plus 20.4 percent. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe make this number uh, smaller. And I'm going to say versus prior year, PY. Okay, and I'll go ahead and make it look a bit better by centering everything.
Okay, so now we can see it's plus 20% versus prior year. So let's drag category into the, or actually let's look at uh, maybe subcategory again since that's what we did last time. And we can see that some of them are, so we have a negative here, so envelopes is negative, but it's blank here. So you, hopefully you can see how this one is blank. If I look at my calculation again, what I've said is if the increase is positive, then don't return anything. I don't have an else statement. Okay, that's fine. So let's create a second calculation. I'm going to edit that calculation. Now I'm going to say if it's less than zero. All right, so in my if statement, I'm going to say if that is equal to false. So this means it's a negative increase. I'm going to keep the rest of the calculation the same. And let's drag that onto the text shelf as well. And let's go ahead and, and edit that. So if now we have it's less than zero, let's also put in, uh, let's just leave it like that for now and hit OK. And if I make these a bit bigger, we should be able to see where we have some negatives. All right, here we go. So we have a negative 28.6. And for copiers, we have a positive 26.8. But I want to color code those numbers, either the turquoise or the red. So in my text shelf, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my less than zero field and I'm just going to put it in front of the greater than zero field. I could put it after it, it doesn't matter, but I want to make sure it's before the versus prior year. So my less than zero, I'm going to go ahead and color that one red. And my greater than zero, I'm going to color that one the turquoise color, which I think is this one here. Hit OK. And now you can see we have a uh, positive for its blue for copiers and for envelopes it's negative. So let's move subcategory to the filters and let's just choose use all for now. And we can see that we have the blue. If I show my filter and let's say I change this to, what was it, envelopes, we can see that it's now a negative value. If I include copiers, they're now being added together and we have plus 22%. We add in machines, we're now at minus 0.4%. So again, in order to color those, uh, whether it's positive or negative, I had to create two calculations, one for the change less than zero, one for the change greater than zero, put them right next to each other, and then you can just color those individually. All right, so we've covered two ways to color code greater than or equal to zero, uh, or positive or negative change. Uh, so again, if I put subcategory on the view here, and let's choose maybe envelopes, we can see it's 3379. And if I go back over to sheet two, you can see envelopes is 3379, but we have the change in the color. Whereas on this first option, we're just coloring the entire number. Hope you found that useful. Have a good day.